In this video, you will learn how to measure dimensions of the machine and the sensor placement so that MC1 can accurately control the blade movements. We use the DOS application for this, but the process also applies to a grader. The chosen configuration is a dual GNSS blade mounted solution. Here is what we will do. Place the machine. Log in as installer. Make the measurement reference mark, measure, and enter the values in MC1. Finally, bench in to validate the measurements. Remember that MC1 offers built-in help images to help you with the process, also showing differences between doser and greater measurements. Before you get started, place the machine on a firm and level surface. You start in the main menu, Logged in as installer. Press Machines. Open the machine's profile or create a new profile if needed. You see that this machine is uncalibrated. Otherwise, it would show the latest calibration date. Press Calibrate. In calibration method, only manual calibration method is supported in the current release. Go to next page. Select six-way or a push blade according to the actual machine. This time we select six-way. Go to next page. Now remember that you should place the machine on a flat level surface, rotate the blade to be perpendicular to the machine heading, and level it with the belts. Also make sure the masts are in a vertical position. When that is done, go to next page. Here you enter the machine's dimensions. You only enter dimensions for the components installed on this specific machine. This means you have to measure left mast position, right mast position, pivot length, pivot height, remaining blade wear, blade height, and blade width. The remaining dimensions are left with the default values. In MC1, you make all measurements in three axes, starting from a single reference point, here shown as R, on the center of the blade. The X axis is the machine's driving direction, the Y axis is perpendicular to the X axis, and Z axis is vertical. Note, it is very important to notice that the values along the axis are positive on one side of the reference point, and negative on the other side. First step is to make a reference mark on the cutting edge. Make this mark on the horizontal midpoint of the cutting edge and vertically aligned with the cutting edge mounting bolts. Use a measure tape to measure the width of the cutting edge and then mark the reference point at the same height as the mounting bolts. When that is done, you are ready to measure. Press the right mast position. Here you will enter the mounting location measured along the X, Y and Z axis. You start with X. If you have any doubt about where to measure, press the question mark. Then press the measurement and a picture will then show where to measure. It is very important to measure along the axis and not diagonally. Press the question mark again to exit help mode. Now measure. We recommend using a Leica cross laser or a plummet from the top of the mast and measure the distance to the cutting edge mounting bolts. Remember to measure horizontally, parallel with the x-axis and not diagonally. Here the distance is 0.29 meters. Remember to enter this as minus 0.29 meters to show that the mast is behind the reference point. Press here and enter minus 0.29 meters. Now on to the Y value. If you have any doubt about where to measure, press the question mark, then press the measurement, and a picture will then show where to measure. 
remember to measure horizontally, parallel with the y-axis and not diagonally. Press the question mark again to exit help mode. Now measure. We recommend using a Leica cross laser or a plummet from the top of the mast and then measure the distance to the reference mark. Remember to measure horizontally, parallel with the y-axis and not diagonally. Here the distance is 1.25 meters. Remember to enter this as minus 1.25 meters to show that the mast is to the right of the reference point. Press here and enter minus 1.25 meters. Now on to the set value. If you have any doubt about where to measure, press the question mark, then press the measurement, and a picture will then show where to measure. Remember to measure vertically, parallel with the set axis, and not diagonally. Press the question mark again to exit help mode. Now measure. We recommend using a Leica cross laser or a spirit level to provide a horizontal line from the reference mark along the mountain bolts and then measure the distance between the top of the mast and the reference line. Remember to measure vertically, parallel with the set axis and not diagonally. This time the distance is 2.5 meters. Press here and enter 2.5 meters. Now all distances are measured for the right mast. Press OK. Repeat this process to measure and enter the values for left mast, pivot length, pivot height, remaining blade wear, blade height, and blade width. Remember to consult the help images anytime you are in doubt. When all is completed, go to next page. All dimensions are now stored. You are ready to create position profiles and calibrate 2D sensors and hydraulics in the CB14 interface. Go to next page and press OK to finish the wizard. That's it. You have learned how to measure dimensions of the machine and the 3D sensor placement so that MC1 can accurately control the plate movements.